I'm going to show you how to prepare an image file with cut lines for a roll-in print and cut machine using Adobe Illustrator. To begin with, in Illustrator I'll create a new file and I'm thinking about an estimated size of what I want my file to be. So let's, for this instance, we'll just do 5 inches by 5 inches. I'll click Create and here's my new artboard. Um, for this demonstration we're going to use a, an image file. So I received an image file from someone and I'll go ahead and I'll place that. And I'll resize it. Go. Uh, so the request was to, to create a cut line that goes around this image. Okay, you can see that the the checker mark border behind usually means it's transparent, but in this instance, it's not transparent. It's actually part of the the graphic. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to take this layer, click and drag it onto the plus sign to create a copy of it. I'm going to lock this bottom layer because I want this bottom layer to stay just the way it is right now. Now on this layer here, I'm going to select the image and I'm going to use this thing called image trace. There's a few different ways to get the image trace. You might see it right up here. I prefer to go to window, scroll down to image trace, and pull up the options in this dialog box right here. So I select the layer, I select the image, and now you see image trace show up with all my different options that I have. I like to click preview because that's going to show me the tracing options. There's lots of different presets that are in here. And at this stage, what you're trying to do is you're just trying to find a good preset mode that's going to give you the nice clean outline. I'm not worried about the colors. I'm not worried about anything on the inside. Um, I'm just looking at that outline edge, and I'm trying to clean this area up here. So one thing I'm going to put it on is just black and white mode, and I'm going to play with the threshold, and there we go. As I scrub through that threshold option, I got that nice clean outside edge that I need. Once we're at this stage, now we want to look for the expand button. and you, You'll find it up here, or you can go object, expand, find it there as well. When I click that, it's going to cha change my tracing. When it pulls up this dialog box, just click OK. It's going to take the tracing, and now it's actually going to expand it into shapes. So when I deselect it and select it, I have a bunch of shapes. I've got a white square that goes around here, a black shape, another white shape, some more shapes on the inside. What I want to do is double click to get into what's called isolation mode, and I can click and drag that outside edge, that white space. I want to get rid of that. All right. Now you can see I've got a few, few shapes on the inside here. I'm going to click off of it, click and drag on that whole layer, and now I'm going to look for this thing called the Pathfinder tool. So I'm going to go to Window, scroll down to Pathfinder, and the Pathfinder tool is going to allow me to take all these shapes because I have one, two, three, four, five, six different shapes, and if I click Unite, it's going to unite all of them and make one solid shape. And this one solid shape is what I need to use to create my cut line. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one solid shape and change the fill and the stroke. The stroke color that I'm looking for is going to be hidden in the swatch library menu. And you have to have this installed on your computer first. You would get this from Roland. Uh, you can go to the Roland website to download those color swatches that you need. 
So I've already done that. I need to click on my library, go down to Roland VersaWorks. It'll pop up a little dialog box with a few different colors in it. And the color I'm looking for is the cut contour color, which is the magenta color. I click on that. And I don't want that to be the fill. I want that to be the stroke. So what I do is I swap that here. And now that you'll see that there's no fill and it has the stroke. The stroke weight that I want for this, for a cut line, is going to be 0.25. And there we go. If I turn off the other layer, deselect it, you can see that that is my outline. That is a spot color by, made by Roland Versaworks that will now be put into the printer. It'll print this first, the image, and then it'll suck it back into the cutter and cut along that line there. Uh, the final thing that we want to do is we want to save this in EPS format. So I go File, Save As, and in this dialog box here, down at the bottom, I can change that to Illustrator EPS. Click Save. When it comes to this stage here, I just click OK. And now you should be able to use this with your Roland print and cut machine to print off this image as well as cut around it. That is one option. Option number two is to totally delete that, create a new layer, make sure I have my outline stroke color set to the cut line, and I can just go for this instance, I can choose a rectangle tool, click and drag over it. Go with the selection tool and just rearrange it where I need to overlap. Take the direct selection tool, pull these corners in to round them off. And that would be another way to create a cut line that would go around this shape. So either one of those options would work. Anything that has a closed path that goes all the way around an image with this Roland VersaWorks color swatch, set to 0.25, save as an EPS file, will work for your Roland VersaWorks uh, printer. Hopefully this will help you. Have a good day.